Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to use the slide feature with inside um, AllCAD and Allegro PCB Editor. Now, the slide feature was was changed uh, midway through kind of 16.5 and it was it was actually introduced as part of the, the root and supported prototypes function. There was a new slide feature which gives you some added functionality in the slide and in 16.6 Cadence have, have productized that and it's now the default way that the slide command works. So if we invoke the slide command you'll see we've got a couple of extra options here plus a different kind of vertex action so if we go through the, the auto join function when we're sliding we'll pick this bottom segment and you can see as i slide it starts to effectively take up any jogs or toggles that we've got in the net just to tidy up the whole netting and a, and a really kind of default nice behavior to have for a slide function if we want it to kind of go back to the to the the, the previous behavior there's obviously this toggle hold control to toggle so if we we slide Without it, you get this, this new behavior. With it, you'll get the kind of the, the original default behavior of what used to happen with the, the way the slide function would work. <coughs> now the extend selection function, let's just zoom into here, gives you the ability, if we've got this, especially when we've got something that's been delay tuned and, and you've got three segments. Now if I was to pick the slide, pick this individual segment, without it, you kind of get that kind of default behavior. Now with it, you're going to get this new function, so it moves the, the vertex that is attached to it, plus the two, the, or the two, two vertices that are attached to it, which can improve the way that you slide the net. The final part of the, the, the slide improvements is this vertex action. So if, I, if I've got slide invoked and I've got the vertex action of move, you can see I get, now I get this little crosshair, the crosshair changes, and I can actually slide both vertices in one go. If I change this to line corner, then what this does is this effectively adds a chamfer to, to that corner. And the other option is, is arc corner, which will give me a nice arc on the, on the, on the vertex.